all you guys know Team Pro Asia, Brian Huang. Brian, take it away. Thank you, Claire. Welcome to the Pokestars Mansion. I trust you find it luxurious enough. Well, get used to it. You are here to join the elite world of professional poker, where luxury is the norm. Turning pro is not easy. The eight of you sitting here means you have a foot in the door. Congratulations. I started out just like you. Through hard work and discipline, I hold my skills to be where I am today. An elite player has to be more than just good. Over the next few weeks, you will be tested on every skill a poker player needs to be a success. There will be sacrifices, but for the winner, it will all be worth it. Claire is here to guide you. I'm here to judge your skills, your character, and whether you have what it takes. I wish you all the best of luck. You guys ready to see the bedrooms? Yes! yes. When I first saw the house, uh, first I thought, wow, this is very really great, you know, such a big mansion. And yeah, I was very really excited, yeah. It's a nice house. Wow, this house is the bomb, man. It's the shit. I haven't, I've never, you know, lived or imagined myself even living in, in such a house. So, yeah, it's definitely great. Cool, but I've seen better. <laughs> this house is huge. <laughs> There's so many rooms in. <laughs> Every day you'll be faced with a poker challenge. At the end of each challenge, you'll be awarded points in the order that you are eliminated. The person at the end with the most points wins. This is how the point system goes. The first to be eliminated is in 8th place with 100 points, in 7th place, 200 points, in 6th place, 300 points, in 5th place, 400 points, in 4th place, 500 points, in 3rd place, 600 points, in 2nd place, 800 points, and in 1st place, you'll be awarded 1,000 points. Brian will be judging the action, and he will have the power to award bonus points to the player he thought performed the best. You'll be watched at all times. First challenge with each other, you'll be playing a knockout tournament. You'll be judged on decisions that you make, the cards that you play, and of course, the way that you carry yourself throughout the rest of the game. It takes more than luck to be a professional poker player. It takes more than books or theories. You can just throw all of that out the window. Today, we're focusing on reading. It's important to recognize the emotions your fellow contestants will be having. It'll be important to know where they come from, what they're here today for. My advice to you is to use these emotions and form your reads on the poker table. What's their personality like? How will they play? And when the cards are dropped, I'll be watching closely. Good luck and play smart. Some of you may be wondering about sleeping arrangements. If you notice, there are eight of you, but there are only four beds. Today's challenge, you'll be playing for more than just points. You'll be playing for sleeping arrangements. The master bedroom sleeps only one person. The other three rooms sleeps two people each. And one lucky player will get one of these and sleep in the hallway. This will be where you sleep for the entire time you're here. Let's play. I didn't know what to expect coming here, you know, like, uh, they didn't tell us that much, so, you know, meeting the other players and uh, seeing the house was kind of cool, but, uh, you know, it'd be nice to just get down and play some cards, and especially now that it's for the master bedroom, <laughs> it's some motivation, because I seriously just don't want to be sleeping for, you know, seven days with some dude, <laughs> so. but there are two chicks in the room. I was sleeping in the hallway for like what seven days? 
That's pretty bad. But it's okay, since I'm gonna win, I can adopt a fella. About, about playing for rooms, I think I will try to not be last because I don't want to be sleeping outside.